a fellow on who at least will report what the man says. That's all anybody can ask. But apart from that, I just want to say this. Among the great papers in this country that people say that I uh, should be concerned about are uh, uh, the Louisville Courier Journal, the New York Post, uh, the Milwaukee Journal, the Fresno and the Sacramento Bee. I couldn't be, uh, disagree with that more. I want newspapers. If they're against a candidate, I want them to say it. Uh, I believe they should say it. I don't mind reporters saying it. Uh, I would hope that in the future, uh, as a result of, of uh, this campaign, that perhaps they would try at least simply to see that what both candidates say is reported, that if they have questions to ask of one candidate, they ask the same questions of the other candidate. Last point. I leave you gentlemen now. <laughs> and. Uh, you will now write it, you will interpret it, that's your right. But as I leave you, uh, I want you to know, <laughs> just think how much you're going to be missing. You don't have Nixon to kick around anymore. Because, gentlemen, this is my last press conference, and uh, it will be one uh, in which uh, I have uh, welcomed the opportunity to test wits with you. I have always respected you. I have sometimes disagreed with you, but unlike some people, I've never canceled a subscription to a paper, and also, I never will. I believe in reading what my opponents say, and I hope that what I have said today will at least make television, radio, the press, first recognize the great responsibility they have to report all the news, and second, recognize that they have a right and a responsibility that if they're against a candidate, give him the shaft. But also recognize if they give him the shaft, put one lonely reporter on the campaign who will report what the candidate says now and then. Thank you, gentlemen, and good day.